Good evening, good evening, everyone. It's the third Sunday. Oh, wrong. Sunday night. No, I'm advanced. I'm advancing. Yeah. It's the third night in Simbong Gabay. Simbong Gabay. In English, Christmas carols. Yeah, it's uh, really cold outside. And so, are we ready for the sing-along? Welcome to our church. And I know, yes, uh, Christmas time is almost, how many days? Today is 22, 23, and 24. Three days and six, six hours. You got it right. So, let us sing along. Welcome, everyone. Yes, uh, Who's going to sing first? Let's sing along. Christmas sing along. There you go. Yes, oh come all ye faithful. We know that song. See? Thank you, Brian. Ye faithful. Joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem. Louder! And behold him, for the King of angels, O come let us adore him, O come let us adore him, O come let us adore him. Let us welcome Buck and Mel and the family. Let us welcome them, the Bucknell family.
E. Thank you, Zora. Originally, oh, yeah, that is
Gracious God, here we are, the third night of caroling. This has been such a joy in the midst of the hurry and, and frantic times of Christmas to just come and settle in and sing praises and sing familiar carols, praying as one. Thank you for all who are here tonight and bless those who weren't able to be here. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ho, ho, ho. One, two, three, four. We have four mics. One, two. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. All right. If you have a part, you have to be by a microphone. Come sit by Retha, and then you can do that. Ho, 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 ho. I'm at Santa Claus. I don't have good luck. So tempting, though, so much space. Uh huh. I think you don't, you, you do not have are. microphones. Perfect. Thank you. It just all of a sudden occurred to me. I don't have a mic. <laughs> yep. All right. Simplifying Christmas, the birth of Jesus. He's the, here. Do I have to do it yet? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a good, that was a good prep. That was good. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Good practice. We got this. Yeah. Well. All right. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to the Galilean village of Nazareth to a virgin engaged to be married to a man descended from David. His name was Joseph. And the virgin's name, Mary. Blessed among women. Upon entering, Gabriel, 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 Gabriel. <laughs> <laughs> greeted her. Good morning. You're beautiful with God's beauty, beautiful inside and out. God be with you. Mary, blessed among women, was thoroughly shaken, wondering what was behind a greeting like that. But Gabriel, <laughs> assured her, Mary, Blessed among women. you have nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth He's here. <laughs> to a son and call his name Jesus. 
God saves. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He will be great. Be called son of the highest. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. He will rule Jacob's house forever. No end ever to his kingdom. Mary, blessed among women, said to Gabriel, but how? I've never <laughs> slept with a man. Gabriel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the highest hover over you. Therefore, the child you bring to birth, he's here, will be called Holy Son of God. And did you know that your cousin Elizabeth conceived a son, old as she is? Everyone called her barren, and here she is, six months pregnant. Nothing, you see, is impossible with God. And Mary Blessed among women. said, yes, I see it all now. I'm the Lord's maid, ready to serve. Let it be with me, just as you say. Then Gabriel left her. Before they came to the marriage bed, Joseph discovered Mary was pregnant. It was by the Holy Spirit, but he didn't know that. Joseph, displeased but noble, determined to take care of things quietly, so Mary would not be disgraced. While Joseph was trying to figure a way out, he had a dream. Gabriel hallelujah, hallelujah. spoke in the dream. Joseph, son of David, don't hesitate to get married. Mary's pregnancy is spirit-conceived. God's Holy Spirit has made her pregnant. She will bring a son to birth. He's here. And when she does, you, Joseph, will name him Jesus. God saves. <laughs> because he will save his people from their sins. This would bring the prophet's embryonic sermon to full term. Watch for this. A virgin will get pregnant and give birth He's here. to a son. They will name him Emmanuel. God is with us. Then Joseph woke up. He did exactly what Gabriel hallelujah, hallelujah. commanded in the dream. He married Mary. Blessed among women. But he did not consummate the marriage until she had the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He named the baby <laughs> Jesus. God saves. <laughs> now, about that time, Caesar Augustus ordered a census More taxes. More taxes. to be taken throughout the empire. This was the first census More taxes. when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone had to travel to his own ancestral hometown to be accounted for. So Joseph went from the Galilean town of Nazareth up to Bethlehem town of David. in Judah for the census. census. More taxes. Oh, more taxes. <laughs> <laughs> As a descendant of David, he had to go there. He went with Mary, Blessed among women. his fiance, who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. He's here. She gave birth. Birth. He's, He's here. here. <laughs> <laughs> to a son, her firstborn, she wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger. Jump, jump, jump. That's right. <laughs> because there was no room in the inn. There were shepherds <laughs> camping in the neighborhood. 
They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly, Gabriel stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. The shepherds <laughs> were terrified. Gabriel said, don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A Savior has just been born in David's town, a Savior who is Messiah and Master. This is what you're to look for, a baby <laughs> wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. Jump, 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 <laughs> jump. At once, Gabriel sorry, was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises. Glory to God in the heavenly heights, peace to all men and women on earth who please him. As the angel choir with and shepherds <laughs> talked it over, let's get over to Bethlehem Town of David. as fast as we can and see for ourselves what God has revealed to us. They left running and found Mary and Joseph and the baby. Jesus, God saves, lying in the manger, jump, 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 <laughs> seeing was believing. They told everyone they met what Gabriel hallelujah, hallelujah. had said about this baby. <laughs> <laughs> All who heard the shepherds, <laughs> he's good at that, <laughs> were impressed. Mary kept all these things to herself, holding them dear, deep within herself. Did I gloss over Mary? Yeah, you glossed over Mary. Oh, I did. Mary? Mary's over there. Oh, I don't oh. Have Mary. oh I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I gave my kept all these things to herself, holding them deep, de dear, deep within herself. The shepherds <laughs> returned and let loose glorifying and praising God for everything they had heard and seen. It turned out exactly the way they'd been told. After Jesus... Jesus? God saves. <laughs> ...was born in Bethlehem. Town of David. This was during Herod's... I am evil. ...kingship. A band of wise men... Wise men. <laughs> <laughs> arrived in Jerusalem from the east. They asked around, where can we find and pay homage to the newborn king of the Jews? We observed a star in the eastern sky that signaled his birth. Birth. And he's here. Oh, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, We're on pilgrimage to worship him. When word of their inquiry got to Herod, I am evil. He was terrified. And not Herod. I am evil. Alone, but most of Jerusalem as well. Herod. I am evil. Lost no time. He gathered all the high priests and religion scholars in the city together and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? They told him, Bethlehem. Town of Judah Territory. The prophet Micah to wrote it plainly. It's you, Bethlehem. Town of David. In Judah's land, no longer bringing up the rear. From you will come the leader who will shepherd, <laughs> rule my people, my Israel. Herod. I am evil. Then arranged a secret meeting with the scholars, pretending to be as devout as they were, got them to tell him exactly when the birth. Bird. Ah, oh, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Announcement star appeared. Then he told them the prophecy about Bethlehem. Town of David. 
and said, go find this baby. Leave no stone unturned. As soon as you find him, send word, and I'll join you at once in your worship. Instructed by Herod, I am evil. The wise men <laughs> set off. <laughs> then the star appeared again, the same star, the wise men. The wise men. <laughs> had seen in the eastern skies. It led them on until it hovered over the place of the baby. <laughs> they could hardly contain themselves. They were in the right place. They had arrived at the right time. The wise men <laughs> entered the house and saw the baby. <laughs> In the arms of Mary, his mother, overcome, they kneeled and worshipped him. Then the wise men <laughs> opened their luggage and presented gifts, gold, frankincense, myrrh. In a dream, the wise men were warned not to report back to Herod. I am evil. So they worked out another route, left the territory without being seen, and returned to their own countries. After the wise men were gone, Gabriel oh, <laughs> showed up again in Joseph's dream and commanded, get up, take the baby. What? <laughs> and his mother Mary Blessed among women. and fled to Egypt and flee to Egypt. Stay until further notice. Herod I am evil is on the hunt for this baby <laughs> and wants to kill him. Joseph <laughs> obeyed. He got up, took the baby, <laughs> and his mother Mary, Blessed among women. under cover of darkness. They were out of Bethlehem Town of David. and well on their way by daylight. They lived in Egypt until Herod's I am evil. death. This Egyptian exile fulfilled what Hosea had preached. I called my son out of Egypt. The end. Yay! Yay! Wow. Great work, everybody. Great. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Deborah, Deb. Yes. So, here is the challenge for us. What did you experience? Yeah, share, share what you have felt while we are uh, doing the, uh, the instant, you know, instant uh, without practice, uh, revisiting the, the first uh, Christmas story. Let me... Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you. How about Mary and the baby? <laughs> the baby did good, yeah! Whoa! What did you felt experience while you are portraying the baby? What did you feel? Yeah. Yay! How about mom? Oh, the Mary. I felt everything came forward in full circle. Yes. And now uh, you put you portray as Mary, and your son is the baby. It's not an accident, but it is it is connection between you and your baby. 
Yes, that was amazing experience. Eh? Revisiting Mary and baby Jesus before 2,000 years ago. Okay, others. Who are the actors? You know what? I like the Watchmen. Mm. Ah, the best actor. Can, can you repeat it, Bok? Can you repeat it? The Watchmen. One more. One more with the microphone. It about fits. I just repeat it. Repeat it. Wiseman. Wiseman roll. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wiseman. How about Joseph? Joseph. Yeah. Very obedient, yeah. Yeah. Even even it came to his mind to live with Mary, but with the spirit of God he changed his mind not to live. Mary. How about I am the evil. Good actress, huh? Yay! I've got a good evil for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember that brings preacher play. <laughs> yeah, so we will remember that on the next play. Yeah. What did you feel? I felt pretty good about being evil. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Herod, Herod was actually more evil than I could ever imagine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who else the actor? Oh, about the uh, Bethlehem. Staying up the night just before I came, I seen on the news where nobody in the room was ever going to be shot. Mm hmm. And even this year, they, they won't be uh, lighting a candle at Bethlehem in respect uh, with the Philistine Christians who killed. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so we can felt that yes, the early years when when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, it it's it's some kind of different now, you know. It's a kind of different now. Any roles? Uh, yeah. How about Zora? What role? Yeah. Emmanuel. Yeah. So, how about, yeah, and, and the good actress, uh, the shepherd. Yeah. I've never played a shepherd before. <laughs> You know, I, I wish the animals could communicate with us a little bit so that we would really know if it was, you know, in their hearts did they understand that they were out there and they were witnessing something so incredible. Um, I'd like to think that animals can think and maybe they don't talk to us much more than bah, bah, but <laughs> they, they have a purpose in our lives for sure. Yes. Shep, shepherd, take care. Yes, and 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 during the first Christmas, it, you know, you know the con uh, <clears throat> see the connection. Humans and animals are part of the birth of Christ. How about Gabriel? Yeah. Yeah, the busy. The busy actress. Yeah. 
Okay. So what did you fail? You are the messenger. Okay, any more? Any more who want to share about revisiting the Christmas story? Any more who want to share? Yeah, we, we want to watch that. He really gives a personal, like, sort of worrying that his message is going to be taken. You know, I mean, a personal view of Gabriel. You know, we just always think of this, you know, angel, this multitude of angels and all of this. It's just amazing and stuff. But, you know, I think Gabriel was was a bit human, too, in that he worried that his message would not be received, would not received by people. It's such a powerful message that he needed to give everybody. Would would it would he be able to, you know, do this this thing that had been given to him by God? You know, that's really kind of interesting. And we are all part of this Christmas in our generation. That is the good thing. We are all part from the children, parents. Whoever you are, revisiting the Christmas story more than 2,000 years ago, in our generation, we are the shepherds now in our generation. We are Gabriel, the messenger. We are the wise men. We are part today in our Christmas celebration. So that is the challenge before us. Yes, revisiting the Christmas, the first Christmas story 2,000 years ago reminded us, yes, we were not there. We were not there. But upon hearing the gospel, now we, we knew. We knew. We are the messenger today. We are um, part of the wise men in our generation. And whoever you are, are part. We have roles. We have roles, small, uh, medium, or large role, or big role, whatever. We are all part in the celebration and preaching, sharing the gospel, the birth of Christ. Isn't that amazing? In our generation, we can spread the gospel, the gospel of hope, the gospel of peace, the gospel of joy, and the gospel of love. Spread love. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, uh, yeah, for our uh, last song, Angels We Have Heard on High. Thank you, Zora. Hey, thank you, everyone. And, um, yes, uh, our last song and Angels, oh, I think it's uh, missing one letter. The one angel flew away. <laughs> angels we have heard on I. Hi. So, Let us feel the message of Christmas and the song. Angels we have heard on high And the mountain hill replies
inviting you to bow our heads and close our eyes and let us uh, pray personally for our family, church, world in this uh, complicated world. I know God is hearing our prayers, prayers for everyone. In this coming days, we will celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I invite you in a silent prayer. God thank you once again for reminding us the first Christmas story it's not an ordinary story but a story that changed the world forever the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ thank you Lord for being with us Thank you, Lord, for being with our family, with the church. And we are praying, Lord, for all the people around the world that they will celebrate this Christmas, a different one. Some will have a blue Christmas. Some they would have a black Christmas, especially those people in, in Bethlehem or in Gaza, Christians in Philistine, Lord, we are praying that war in Israel and Gaza will come to an end and war in, around the world will come to an end. We are praying for the family of the innocent people being killed in human ark and Lord we are praying for everyone around the world peace on earth and goodwill to all people forgive us our God with all our mistakes and help us to forgive ourselves help us to forgive others and help us Lord to love you more and help us to love our neighbor as we love ourselves. Once again, oh God, thank you for reminding us once again that Christmas is every day. The real meaning of Christmas, the reason is Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Thank you, and as we leave this sanctuary, continue to bless us all, oh God. Have uh, Bless us to have a, a good night rest, and uh, tomorrow is another day, another blessing another serving with humility. Yours are glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. To God be the glory. Christ the Savior is born. Amen. Thank you. God bless for coming. Sunday worship 9.30 in the morning and uh, 7 o'clock Christmas uh, Eve uh, worship with communion. So, yes. And the children, yes, yeah, Sunday. Yeah, the children. Thank you so much. God bless you. Brian, thank you. You're the guy. Zara, yeah, can we clap our hands? Thank you. And Angel, everyone, thank you. God bless us all. And uh, see you on Sunday. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I believe.